adorable, adorable boo boo. Erin Witkowski adores her 15-month-old son, Grady. He's joy. I mean, he, he smiles and he laughs, and he's everything I ever wanted in a son. He really is. She was 20 weeks pregnant and feeling her son's kicks when she learned he had Down syndrome. He gets therapy in our house about 10 times a week. Soon, women in her situation could learn much earlier. By this time next year, three companies will be offering a new blood test that detects a Down syndrome pregnancy as soon as nine weeks. Right now, there are blood tests that indicate a risk of carrying a Down syndrome pregnancy. For confirmation, the woman can go on to amniocentesis, where a needle has slipped into the belly to get DNA after 15 weeks of pregnancy. This new blood test would give a firmer answer than the current blood tests and do it several weeks earlier than amniocentesis. There is a small chance the belly needle procedure can damage the fetus. Legal scholar Jamie King says if that procedure can be replaced with this new simple blood test, that's a good thing. I think it's a positive um, sort of across the board. At least people have um, a much longer time period to make a decision about whether or not um, they want to keep the child or not keep the child. Medical ethicist Marcy Darnofsky believes the more prenatal information, the better. But at the same time, making sure that we're not going down um, what could be a really disastrous path towards designer babies and human clones and a, a world with hundreds of millions of missing girls. For parents of Down syndrome babies, like Erin Witkowski, there is another worry. If the abortion rate spikes and people decide to not keep their, their babies with Down syndrome, uh, you know, what happens is when the population of individuals with Down syndrome decreases, what will end up happening is, you know, less funding will start going towards research and, you know, just support for, you know, all the individuals out there. And that's scary for us. The companies marketing the new blood tests say they will be available in doctor's offices in Europe by December and in the U.S. next April. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, Port Jervis, New York.